And in this week's installment of Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy go over different spinner baits to use for selection of fish. Tonight we'd like to talk a little bit more about spinner baits. We've had a segment on spinner baits already this year, but I'd like to talk a little bit more about the diversity of spinner baits. And um, one of the first things that I think of when I think of spinner baits are these really little tiny spinner baits that I use for panfish. And it's amazing how many times you'll catch a bass or a northern or even a walleye uh, on something like this. A double bladed spinner bait looks like this, and you can see there's two different blades on here. And those blades make noise. And so when this is going through the water, it's making a little clanking noise, which is attractive to these fish. And uh, it comes in all sizes and all shapes. Uh, this is pretty much just a plain jig with a double bladed spinners on it. And uh, that can be used for walleyes down deeper. It can be used for bass. It can be used for anything. And then finally, I'd like to share one with you. This is called a cowgirl. Actually, this is called a silly girl because it's a little bit smaller, S-I-L-I. -I. <clears throat> and this is a double bladed spinner. And if you can see it, it's much, much larger. And uh, <laughs> it's very effective for muskies and for northern pike. And Mandy would like to share a little bit about uh, selection. If we're going to be throwing spinners or anything like that for bass and muskie, you absolutely have to have a leader on the front of it. There's nothing worse than losing an expensive lure because of a cut line because toothy critter, big pike comes up and grabs it. So you've got a couple different options for leader material. Let's see, this one's real super thin, already made, um, or you can get bigger, heavier, thicker ones that um, are more of a, a metal one. What color, where to use it, and when. You just cannot go wrong, I'm sorry, with a white spinner bait. Um, but you can get into the oranges and the chartreuses and the reds too. I always like to say when it's light, it's bright. When it's overcast, use a, a, a darker color that they're gonna be able to see. But more often, the fish are gonna tell you. And the big difference in it is the color of the blades, I feel like. Um, I really prefer, an, overall to use a silver blade over the over a gold blade just about in any type of water and gold i really do like gold and using in, in clearer waters so those are the tips and the tactics to get out and use spinner baits selectively uh for bass and northern for lakeland news i'm ray gildot with the nisswa guides league and i'm mandy Eric, the bass and biologist lakeland news is member supported content please consider supporting lakeland news today